In this module, we will talk about the equilibrium of a rigid body. This video will provide a brief introduction of the topic. A particle is considered in equilibrium if the resultant force acting on the particle is equal to zero. In the case of a rigid body, equilibrium requires both the resultant force and resultant moment acting on the body to be equal to zero. The rigid body, such as a structure or machine, may consist of a single member, like member AB, as you can see in figure A. Or, several members, such as CD and DE, joined together in figure B form a single system. Forces and moments may be classified as external or internal. Forces that hold a member or members together are internal and may occur at a hinge, such as D in figure B, or between any two parts of a single member. Applied forces act directly on the member, such as F1, F2, and F3, and on the weight of the members, W1, W2, and W3. External forces can be either applied or reactive. Reactive forces are those produced by the member's supports, such as the reaction on RA, RB, RC, and RE. Applied forces or loads are usually known quantities, while reactive forces or reactions are unknown quantities.